you are scrolling, when you see something that is harmful, when you see something that is displeasing to Allah Almighty, make sure that you immediately flick on. You move on from there. You don't waste your time. You don't look at it for more than the minimum which was required in order to just glance at it and you immediately flick through. You keep going. You move. If it is a page, you move the page. If it is something else, you move it. And you actually do not interact with it in any way. Nor do you spend time on it. Neither do you spend time on it. Nor do you comment or like or share or even put a negative or a thumbs down. Nothing. No interaction. The reason is the minute you interact or delay or you spend a little bit of time watching it immediately, the algorithms pick this up and your interaction will make your phone and the use of it understand that this is the type of content you are interested in. So it begins to show you more of that. So when you see something that is displeasing to the Almighty, something you're not supposed to be looking at, the first thing you do is you move it. You move away from that. It's like lowering your gaze. As soon as you saw something that was not beneficial, something you were not supposed to look at, lowered your gaze, you looked away. That's it. You could say, Astaghfirullah. You could say, La hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. And so on. That's good. If you see something that is very beneficial, be it worldly or to do with your faith, what I mean is something beneficial in terms of your studies, in terms of life hacks, in terms of some good gadgets you might have seen, something that is not harmful, it's beneficial. Beneficial for your deen or your dunya. You should like it, you should comment on it, and you should share it. Why? Because by doing that, not only will you get to see much more content compared to what you were, much more good content because the algorithms pick up that you interacted with this goodness, but anyone who gets to see that and share it and like it and comment on it as a result of your interaction with the post, you will clock a reward for that. You definitely get a reward. So if you see after that a million views on something that was beneficial because you interacted with it and you forwarded it and you liked it and commented, the algorithms have actually made it reach more people as a result of your interaction with it. So you get a full reward for everything that happened thereafter. You can actually smile at it and you clocking reward. Subhanallah. Imagine you're getting a reward even after your death, if you were to die and people are sharing and continuing to share and like and comment, you get a full reward for it. It is a sadaqa jariya. It is a charity, the reward of which outlives you. Subhanallah. Imagine if it were a religious post, something to do with your deen, something to do with tawbah and repentance, something to do with encouraging a person towards prayer, towards goodness, towards values and high morals and standards of Islam, towards Allah Almighty, preparation for death, preparation for the hereafter, some empowering, beautiful post or video. Imagine if that was the case and you liked it and you shared it and you reposted it and you commented on it and you might have done uh, what they call a duel with it, whatever. Subhanallah. Ah, imagine the reward you would clock. And nowadays, you can get a million views in a day. Subhanallah, if you know how to interact with these things, you know how to like, repost, post, comment, share, for the right things, you get a beautiful reward. And it is so huge that if from those millions who have viewed it, if a few have changed even in the smallest way, you get a reward of the da'wah and the propagation and the goodness and their guidance of thousands would have benefited. How many hundreds would have changed their lives as a result of this? You were just asleep. Before I slept, I was on TikTok for half an hour. I liked, I shared and I commented only on the really brilliant stuff. Be it Quran recital, be it a good reminder, be it a good nasheed, be it some encouraging words, be it some empowerment, whatever it was, goodness, I did it. As a result of that, what happened? Yes, mashallah, the people benefited and I earned my Jannah. On the day of judgment, every little deed will come and be put on the scale. And when your good deeds are heavier than the bad, you get Jannah. So you're using social media in order to earn Jannah to Firdaus. My brothers, my sisters, is that not a simple way of earning the pleasure of Allah? I'm talking of over and above your duties, your primary duties. Subhanallah. 
I'm not saying leave your salah and leave your zakah and leave your hajj and leave your fasting. No, we are talking about the way we use social media. I started off by saying we all have phones. We're all on social media, whether you like it or not. So why don't you convert your interactions into something that's going to take you to paradise? Why don't you convert your interactions into something that's going to be meaningful for you and everyone around you? Why don't you minimize your interactions with that which is harmful? But remember, don't ever let a good post pass without you 